Well hello and welcome to my latest video. We're out again on the road and uh, me and my mate Simon today, not John. Uh, you saw John in a previous video about Bob Jimmy on the Thames. Uh, me and Simon we're uh, going to do a little bit of off-roading, little gravel routing because we have just passed a road closed sign. Uh, you can't actually see it says road closed there because it's on the other side of the sign but I shall tell you that it says that there's a bollard. Uh, is that a bollard? No, it's a cone. Cone. Cone and a pyramid. So, here you can see the off-road section, and there is Simon, the experienced gravel cyclist, who is looking forward to this particular bit of off-roading. Not a very nice day today. Quite cold. And there's a little bit of rain. But Simon and I have HTFU'd and decided to carry on. Look at that, we have stumbled across a lookout or a Chelsfield Vista. So I'm going to point, right? So you are here, well, you're not here, we're here. You're wherever you are watching this video, if you're still watching it. And here is Holwood House. Can you see that? I didn't think Holwood House still existed. Yes, it does. It's, does it? Yeah, it's where, um, you know, um, it's behind that estate. Is no, it? Yeah. And what is it? It's a country house. That's why you've got Holwood Farm, Holwood House, Holwood Estate, that very posh I estate. I didn't know that actually yeah. still existed. That's amazing. Right, now you can so see. What, over there, so. Yeah, you can see the telecom tower. That's yeah. the telecom tower on the map. You can't see it in real life because there is fog. Fog on the Tyne. I can see the shard. Simon can see the shard. So it must be to the left of the shard. Left of the shard. Can I see the shard? Yeah, there. So you see that tree in the field? Slightly tree. to the right. Slightly to the tree, right. everyone. Can you see the tree? Don't miss the tree. Up there. Yeah, all right. And, yeah, and then the right, all the rest of those yeah. city towers. It's, it's appearing out of the gloaming. No, it's impressive. Now, we would not have found this if I had not insisted to Simon that we cross the field of dreams there. If you build it, they will come. They built it, and well, we, we, we got here anyway. And this is like a, like a bridal way. And there, there is the Fairlight Sea Can uh, with Simon, a, uh, a cyclist. Simon is demonstrating the sea cab like my assistant. There's Simon's giant. Giant Defy, funnily enough, which I also have. Not the same bike, obviously. Simon's tends to be cleaner. Serendipity, that's what we call this. And down there, oh, here come some people. So I'll turn the camera off, in case they don't want to be on screen. This is a field, a field of a crop. I'm not quite sure what crop. Anyone know? Leave a message down below if you know what the crop is. It's green and it stretches, stretches as far as the eye can see. We are in the basket, the basket, the bread basket of England. Garden of England. Garden of England. Not, no, thank you, Simon. The bread basket, the uh, East Anglia is the bread basket of England. We're in the we're in the chicken brick of England. The uh, toaster, the multi toaster of England. Microwave. Anyway, that's enough kitchen appliances. Anyway, if you know what the crop is, leave a note, leave a comment down below. We have stumbled across something else in memory of Sergeant John Hugh Mortimer Ellis, RAFVR of number 85 squadron who lost his life near this spot on 1st September 1940 in Hurricane P6 273. That was in the days when a hurricane had a, a number instead of a name. He was 21 years old, one of Churchill's few. Memorial dedicated on 17th of May 2008 by the Shoreham Aircraft Museum. And the Shoreham Aircraft Museum is at the Battle of Britain Cafe where we go quite often to have our um, 
snacks. Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve. Ah, thank you, Simon. Simon has explained the acronyms, which I obviously did not understand. Well, what a thing to stumble across. And if you stumble across that, you can break your neck. So be careful. Health and safety first, everybody. Lovely stone. Big stone. Where did you dig that up from? Yeah. Do you think it's real? I would think so. What do you think it might just be concrete? Now this section of road always reminds me of Flanders. Now it's not, it's not quite so easy for you to see with the GoPro, but if you can imagine this road goes down there and it descends and it curves down or it goes down and curves and then it curves back up in a climb and just at the top there there is a, um, a large greenhouse and that to me always looks like the little climb of the Alde Quermont which you'll know from your tour of Flanders and if this was cobbled we could make a real tour of Flanders and they'd call it the tour of Kent so if you can imagine the crowds of people here along the side of the road and here, can you imagine Cancellar or Tom Bonin, whoever it is, powering their way up the Alde Quermont climb. So this is a very, very Flanders looking part of the world. And there's one of the team cars with the ladder on the top so they can reach the bikes. And it's descending down the corner, round the road of the Alde Quermont and uh, it is actually Chelsfield in Kent but use your imagination guys and everything becomes possible. So we decided to descend the road and now we're starting up the climb Simon has powered on ahead so if you imagine this bathed in cobbles, covered in cobbles, screaming Belgians with their chips and their mayonnaise and their Trappist beer hollowing at us at the side of the road, legs pumping, lungs bursting as we power up the hill. There's Simon up ahead. Here's one of the houses with the corporates, the fat cat corporates sitting there with their, their cake and their, their mayonnaise and everything else. Sorry, just need to change gear a bit there. Just struggling a bit on the climb. And there's a wahoo waving in the wind. Good to see the, the wheels turning. up the outer Quermont, bouncing on the cobbles, racing to the top, hoping not to get caught like Peter Sagan in a trailing jumper. See the crowds of people, see them, Ale! 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 they say, Ale! And there, there are the marquees as we crest, crest the final climb. We're tired, we're happy, we're a little bit knackered, but we, we drive on into the Flanders, the wicked Flanders fields full of poppies, and that wicked weather. Ah, what a glorious day to ride our bikes. The Forest of Arden, the Forest of Dean Moriarty, the Forest of Fontainebleau, is it Fontainebleau? Forest in uh, Paris. It is dark, foreboding, forbidding, but we are watched by 
video cameras watching for fly tippers. I am not a fly tipper. I've never tipped, never tipped a fly. How much would you tip a fly? Will you? What, what does a fly eat? An ant. So you go, you go to the you go to the fly restaurant, right? And you have um, you have your meal, and uh, you get served by the fly. And uh, at the end, uh, the fly tip uh, the fly says, "What? No fly tip?" And you say. I was only fly tipping is forbidden. I'm not doing any fly tipping around here. The fly says, "You little, you little shit! I've got, I've got a crap on your eaten mess." And then the uh, the waiter, oh, yeah, yeah, that's enough of that. But uh, anyway, you get the you get the point. Uh, uh, what's a, what's a good fly tip? <laughs> about about ten to one at uh, at uh, Haydock Park. That's it. Ten to one Haydock Park. That's a that's a good fly tip. I don't know where Simon is. Disappeared. We arrived here in Farnborough at Fab Cycle Services. Maintain, modify, maximize, which is a new bike shop. Although, as I was saying to Simon, if, if, if to be a bike shop. Surely you have to be a shop that sells bikes and they deal with uh, servicing, repairs and maintenance as opposed to actually selling bikes. And they sell bike stuff. Oh, carry on, sorry. Um, I think they sell bike bits that you need for your bike but not actual bikes. There's Simon hoping to be invited in. and. Uh, we wish them every success because a new bike shop or a new bike establishment or a new bike centre deserves support from local cyclists. So if you're in the Farnborough area or around the Farnborough area, there's a man with a cat on a lead. Isn't it a cat? No, it's a small dog. Uh, if you're in the Farnborough area or the local area and you need your bike fixed, serviced, why not try fabcycleservices.com. They haven't paid me to say that, as you know, I'm not sponsored, not sponsored by anyone. Um, but if you'd like to sponsor me, you know how to contact me. Simon's going inside. Is he wearing a mask? Yes, he is. Favourite cafe, which is Rafe's in West Wickham. There you can see the inside. You can see the inside, actually. Probably just see a lot of, a lot of reflections. Yep. We're about yourself? to get, I'm scratching my nose there. Looking wonderful. Have to get us ourselves a coffee or two. Oh yes, it's just two of us. Yes. Right, guys. I need to Eva help you to do the app. To sign oh, you've got the app. You've got the app. Have you got the NHS? Yes. We are. We are apt up. I. I've had COVID. I'm a plasma donor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mission. It's not. You put your name and you take the tap, one. Tap me in, Simon. Tap me in. My, with my app, my COVID app, as I'm required to do, the lady was uh, most insistent that I did that. And uh, we had to change tables, because the other table there was a flapping thing that was getting on my nerves. I've got my mask on, as you can see, and now we're waiting for the coffee. And I should be taking some film of the coffee to show my friend Henry Wildberry and Miss Cools, who did the same for me. So, hi Henry, hi Miss Cools, look forward to the coffee. Sorry, sit down now. Yeah. Simon is having sourdough toast with butter and jam. Feast your eyes, Henry, and Miss Calls. If you come to West Wickham, I will take you to Rafe's and I will stand you to sourdough toast with butter and jam. A proper English lunch. Tuck in, Simon. Tuck in. And here, Henry Wildberry and Miss Cools is a cup of the finest Rafe's coffee with a Lotus Biscoff biscuit. Now, here's something you'll want to know. Right, I came here yesterday and I had two cups of coffee, but I only got a biscuit with the first coffee. 
and my mate Mike said, you only get one biscuit. I said to the waitress, I said, I said to the waitress, I said, but I bought another coffee. Why can't I have another biscuit? She said, it didn't work like that. Which I thought, I don't know if that's a Brexit thing, but um, didn't seem entirely fair to me and I wasn't happy. But wow. my protests fell on deaf ears. The coffee, Henry Wildberry and Miss Cools. I'm going to drink some in a minute. Can I put some milk in? Look, it's a little pot of, this is decaf milk. So I'm going to put that in. I know you prefer your your oat or cornflake or soya or corn milk or whatever it is milk you have. I prefer the milk the cows drink. Yes, and there's a, there's a teaspoon or even a coffee spoon. Coffee, as we know, is better than tea. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Look at those bubbles.